UV resin pendant, all you need is a photo or a piece of clip art like this, something you want to feature in your pendant. Then you need a pendant blank. We got this one at the craft store. And you need resin. We like to use Lisa Pavelka's Magic Gloss because it's a UV resin and cures in the sunlight, and we think that's fun. Then you need scissors, a level, a toothpick, a glue stick, and packing tape. To get started, we've got our clip art here. We bought this on Etsy. You can find beautiful things there. We picked out the image that we liked. We resized it on the computer to fit our pendant, and then we printed it out. The next thing to do is to cut it out, and you want to cut out your, um, your picture so that it fits right inside the pendant. It's important that there's a little bit of room around the edges of your image, and we'll show you why. So once you've got your image cut out, you're going to laminate it, in quotes, using packing tape. So we're going to take a piece of packing tape, and we want to laminate both sides. So I'm going to lay it down like that and kind of rub it to make sure it's nice and there aren't any air bubbles. Get another piece of packing tape for the top. Put that on top like that. And then I'm going to burnish it with my fingernail um, just so there aren't any air bubbles in there. And I'm also going to go very lightly around the edge to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles around the edge because we're going to have to trim that edge with a little bit of tape around the image so that our resin doesn't seep in when we pour it. So we've got that nice and burnished. Now we're going to just cut it out, making sure to leave a tiny little edge around the image of tape, just like that. So now you've got your image all cut out. You want to make sure that it fits inside your pendant blank, and it does. That's good. So the next thing to do is to add some glue to the back of your image so that we can glue it inside the pendant blank. And this is important because you don't want any air bubbles underneath um, your image. Make sure you've got it facing the right way where your bail is at the top there and just get it in there nice and tight. And I'm going to press down all the way around the edges to make sure that it's nice and tight in there and that there aren't any air bubbles underneath. This looks pretty good. Great. Now we're ready to apply our resin, and it's important to work in the shade or inside for this step because the resin will start to cure if it's in direct sunlight because it's UV resin. So be sure to work inside. We've got our pendant here ready to go. We've got our resin and we're going to just squeeze the resin directly over the image. And I'm using the little um, applicator tip to kind of move it around. You want to make sure to fill the resin all the way or fill the bezel all the way um, to the edges, but you kind of don't want it to go over if you can avoid it. So I'm moving it around a little bit, and I'm going to use my toothpick here to kind of make sure that it's gone all the way out to the edge. Great. If any bubbles form, you can use your toothpick and just pop them, just like that. Good. It looks like we've got all the bubbles. Now we're ready to take our um, pendant outside and place it in direct sunlight. It's important that it's in direct sunlight, not in the shade. We're going to place it on a level surface, and that's to make sure that the resin cures evenly, and we'll just wait until it cures. We let our pendant sit in direct sunlight for about 15 minutes, and it's nice and cured. Your time may vary depending on the thickness of your resin, or how overhead the sun is at the time when you place it outside. So you'll want to test it to make sure that it's cured before you handle it. One way to do that is with the toothpick. We recommend the toothpick trick because if you use your fingertip to touch the top to see if it's cured, you might end up with a fingerprint and that is ugly, so we don't want that. Use a toothpick. Take the toothpick and very gently tap the side where it's not going to show and see if there's any give in the resin. And if there isn't, then your resin is cured. And what you end up with is this beautiful glossy finish. It's almost like glass, and it's nice and domey and 
super smooth. We love how it looks. It just looks so finished. We added a chain to make it into a necklace, and that's how you make a UV resin pendant. Mm -hmm.